uh, McCoy Hill got hurt uh, early in the week, so we had to bring uh, Stu out to get uh, 11 on 11 stuff done because we're not able to go 11 on 11 with Taysom. But uh, Taysom looked really good in uh, the break, uh, breakdown drills, inside scale, one on one, and uh, regular scale. So, uh, wow, I'm real pleased that uh, uh, how quick he's uh, making reads and snapping the ball out of there. That was real fun for me today to uh, see that. Uh, other than that, uh, I do believe we're in that spring deal where, you know, the focus is on getting better from day to day, and it's not so much on uh, how many uh, touchdowns you score. That's not really the focus right now. So. Uh, happy to have uh, questions. Anybody? Is Taysom at or ahead of where you thought he might be? At oh, this wow, way ahead. I was way surprised. That was the big uh, deal for me today. Way ahead. Wow. Given Taysom's injury history, is the run pass balance going to change in your offense? Uh, you know, the idea is to, uh, uh, well, we tried to do that as well last year, but hey, uh, his deal now, if he doesn't like it, he yanks it and he goes. So there, there's uh, that hopefully, uh, uh, I, I don't think the answer is to be afraid to run the football. Uh, I really don't. Uh, I think uh, the answer is that uh, we're smart on, on the coaching end and uh, uh, everyone else be smart with uh, uh, how it happens. But to hesitate, to go soft, uh, you're not gonna find that with Taysom Hill, not at all. So the zone grade is gonna stay in the offense then? Uh, some parts of it, you bet. Exactly how much is Taysom doing? Is he doing everything but contact? Uh, he's doing uh, most things, but he, he's not doing the uh, 11 on 11 work. So, yeah, that's a big part of spring football. So I'd say about uh, half and half. So with regards to McCoy Hill, is he largely in the same boat as Taysom, able to do everything? No, but uh, he's not been able to do anything. So until we get clearance, he's uh, he's out. You think you'll have him in spring, McCoy? Uh, I'm hopeful. You know, it's, I'm hopeful he can come back and uh, advance and get better. Did you push to get a JUCO quarterback in here for, before signing day at all, or did you? Uh, we looked at it, and uh, not too many JUCO guys wanted to come in and sit down. And the JUCOs that uh, were willing to, to ride the bench, we didn't feel were the type of quarterbacks to advance the program. So we've got uh, two young kids coming in. Uh, Tanner gets back off a mission in the summer. And uh, that probably more than anything scared our Juco recruits away. Was well, uh, Tanner Mangum, you know, the Elite 11 guy coming back. And, uh, you know, it, uh, it all sounds great to go Juco, but, uh, you know, those guys aren't dumb. They want to know who's coming back, and uh, so that's uh, that's the way it worked. What was Stu's reaction to getting called back in? Man, I tell you what, what a story. I hope that goes down as one of the all-time great BYU uh, stories, that uh, we had a guy that uh, willing uh, to advance the team uh, so everyone can get better while we wait for our uh, younger cubes to, to get in and, and get involved. Have you ever had anybody do that before? Come back after you know in his uh, no, so my my memory here at BYU football only goes back to the 80s. So I don't know what happened in the 40s or the 30s, but uh, quite a story uh, in, in today's football. What was it like watching him? Oh man, it was refreshing. You know because uh, we just could not advance the program without uh, uh, at least being decent at that position, and so Stu gave us that opportunity. Bronco said at signing day that Tanner, he feels a little bit better because Tanner got a spring fall under his belt. What do you recall? You, that was your first spring. Yeah, day. he sure did. Uh, Tanner spent a uh, spring in the system, and uh, nothing's changed too drastically from then. And, uh, boy, he sure did surprise because we weren't uh, practicing him uh, three springs ago to play because he was going on a mission. But uh, he just developed really... Uh, rapidly, so we couldn't help but uh, kept feeding him. So uh, I'm, I'm really confident that uh, Tanner will be a quick study. I'm really confident that Bo Hodge, our high school quarterback, is going to be a quick study. You know, a smart guy, 
runs around and uh, got a really good arm. So, yeah, just got to wait till uh, the young quarterbacks get here. Our O-line and our quarterback position uh, is still going through some uh, recruiting adjustments, so to, so to speak. So uh, that's where we're at. You mentioned the old line. Where, where is it at? Like, what do you see? Uh, we're short there, too. Uh, we've got guys that are just getting off missions, and we're signing uh, a couple kids that are coming in in the fall to hopefully bring the number up. But uh, the depth uh, is, is not where it should be, and the numbers were probably about a year or two away from uh, stabilizing that position. On so. the offensive line, what's the story on uh, Darren Danucci transfer from North Texas? How did he come into the program? Uh, you know, I don't really know. <laughs> the kid uh, had to have gotten into school, and that's something. Uh, and the kid had to have maintained through off season, and that's something. So I'm pretty excited he's here. He's lasted so far. Is he playing what position on the O line? Uh, he's been playing inside as a guard. Okay. Yeah. Who would you expect to be your number one tight end in the fall? Uh, the guy who wins it out. So we can hardly wait till that happens. <laughs> who are the top two or three guys you're looking at to win it out? Uh, we got uh, uh, two guys that have come over. I mean, right now, all the uh, fingers are pointing at Brian Sampson, and we're looking for good things. But uh, Stephen Richards and Tanner Baldry have come over, and uh, wow, did they bring a nice punch to a tailback run game that we kind of sort of had last year, but not really. Both well, are going to stay there. They've moved over for good. I hope so. And if anything, shoot, those are kids you can go both ways with. So uh, they. How does Kobe look to you, tight end? Kobe Jorgensen. Pierce. Jorgensen? Oh, Jorgensen. You know, he's working into the big. He's been hurt all fall, so we're looking forward to getting back. There's the offensive line. You have five guys back that had extensive starting experience last season. Can you talk about what boon that is to the offense? Uh, well, yeah, that's a good step. But we're far from a, a deal where we've got uh, uh, competition at spots. So yeah, we, we'd like to see better competition, uh, better uh, depth, and to play the schedule that we're playing. Uh, yeah, you need that. You need depth and competition, uh, especially at quarterback, especially with the offensive line. Uh, we're not just there yet as a program. What's the most important thing to get out of the next few weeks? Uh, get better every day, no doubt. Thank you.